Unit A, Element 2.4, UK Acts, Regulations and Orders. You've seen how the European Union has a significant influence on UK health and safety legislation. But how does this legislation actually get into the statute books in the UK? Well, it all starts in Parliament, and in particular, in the House of Commons. An Act of Parliament, such as Health and Safety at Work Act 1974, start as a bill and then is considered by the House of Commons and the House of Lords before receiving the monarch's assent. Regulations are made under these Acts of Parliament, which are called Enabling Acts. For example, regulations regarding health and safety can be made under the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974, which is the Enabling Act. They are created by the Secretary of State responsible for health and safety matters following consultation with interested parties. Regulations can be on all sorts of general topics to do with protecting workers and others from any risk to their health and safety arising from work activities. Or they can concern more specific subjects such as controlling explosives, highly flammable or otherwise dangerous substances. You will meet a host of these types of regulations when you study the hazards covered in Units B and C. When a proposal is put forward for a change in legislation or for the introduction of a new set of regulations, it's important that thought is given to the impact of the changes, particularly the economic ones. It is no good introducing legislation which no one can comply with because of the costs associated with it. That's why regulation has to undergo a cost-benefit analysis. This is called a socio-technical cost-benefit analysis for economic assessment of proposed legislative or regulatory change. This will show if the costs of complying with legislation are less than the benefits to be gained from reductions in injuries, cases of occupational ill health or dangerous occurrences. In simple terms, all we are doing is weighing up the cost of legislation against the benefits to make sure that it makes business sense to proceed with it.